Hi guys. Hello. Try to get this just right. <laughs> so I have been, um, gosh, we've just been, every day I say this, but we get so much done around here. And uh, I'm excited about that. I'm excited to keep things going. I've been laying out projects for you guys. And um, I feel like on the one hand, I feel like we get so much progress. But then on the other hand, I feel like, oh, it's just taking so long. I'm just so impatient. Boy, I'm really shiny. I don't know why I'm so shiny. I probably forgot my, I did forget my powder today. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've been messing with lighting here because in this dining room at this time of day, the sun is shining in and it's too bright for you guys to, for the camera, like to focus on what I'm doing. So I added my other light. So excuse the shine. You're not going to be looking at me anyway. Hi guys. Welcome. Welcome. Happy hello to everybody. Thank you for joining all my good girlfriends. I um, have been working on a project and which led to another project, which led to another project. So I have, I'm, I'm all over the place again today, which is my typical typicalness. So you guys um, won't be in for any surprises there. But I have a client that I did a bunch of, um, well, there were three of us. I took, I took my team and we um, knocked out a house earlier this week. And then I went back yesterday and took her a little bit more greenery, fluffed a few things that, you know, after you're working on a house for so many hours it just you know, kind of maybe let a an area maybe slack a little bit there was one area that i we totally missed when we left we we totally forgot to do it so anyway i was back over there and we were really trying to edit her uh condo and um as i'm talking to her one of the things that i noticed were these beautiful um uh, olive trees that she had on her very formal uh, her very formal fireplace, a lot of golds, um, just if you picture that golds and creams and a beautiful ornate, um, rich gold, like a warm gold, uh, chunky frame with a beautiful lady in her long dress and all the things. So it's very formal. And then on either end, we sort of worked in, uh, Beth that was helped me that day, these they were terracotta these pots that these were in were terracotta and i said i have to say the only thing that i see that needed a little tweaking were her terracotta pots for these beautiful trees so she says take them with you do whatever you want so knowing the formality of her fireplace i um i actually did a blog post that will be coming out with um, about this, um, I want to say procedure, it's not really a procedure, but project. Um, and, uh, what I did was, and I know I've done this before, like a lot on, um, social media, but you know, I always get new people. There's not all of you see every video. So I'm thinking there's someone that might find this interesting. And besides that, I've been sitting in here, uh, all morning kind of on my own. So I like a little company. So, um, let me show you what I did. I first of all painted these pots in a gold, like a metallic gold, like this kind of color. Then I used a brush and just did a little, um, Stippling, I guess is what the um, official term would be, but you just tap tap with your brush in two colors and I have terrible lighting still. I was surely hoping for, let me see if this will diffuse it a little bit. I was surely hoping for better light. Let me tone this down just to snap. Um, there, maybe that made it better. Maybe I didn't even need my light at all. No, that didn't help. It's coming in from that window over there, isn't it? Um, let me see, can I block it? <laughs> Let me block it with this stuff. <laughs> I just want you to be, there, there, that helped. That helped anyway. So I'm just letting a little bit of that gold peek through. Oh, I missed a, well, it looks fine in person. It looks like, a, it's just a little bit of gold peeking through everywhere. And so I could be totally finished. Now we have glammed up and jazzed up her pots that are gonna look great on her mantle now. Um, but I think I'm going to take them a step further, but I need these things to dry. So in order of progression, the next thing is she gave me this um, topiary, I guess, gold Christmas fruit topiary, and she didn't want it any longer, and it's way too fancy for me, right? But 
you could paint it and so here's your options um you could paint it you could glitter it you could um you know do a dusting over it or a glaze over it and tone it down you could do a whitewash but i really love that effect where you see little spots of that solid bright gold with the um with the painted look of a little more vintage for me um, so that's what I'm going to do. The same thing that I did with these pots. So um, we sell a product called Country Chic Chalk Based Paint. And the, um, message me if you need any. We do not have it on our website yet. Um, we, we're still trying <laughs> to get everything done that we need to get done. So um, if you need any paint, let me know. But the gold, um, we always base coat with a color called... Um, fresh mustard and then you do your gold metallic over it because metallic paints are, are sometimes very expensive and so if you boost that amplify that gold with like a mustard color then you just need one coat of gold and you get a look like this okay then I'm using a color called um, cheesecake which you guys know I use cheesecake all the time and a color called simplicity which is just white so very close to the same colors okay um, then I'm taking just a chip brush. Now it's already been dipped and used because I did it on those pots, but you dip um, a little into the dark side and a little into the light side, and then you just tap, 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 okay? And then what I'm going to do is go straight at this piece. Um, do I need to put you down just to snap? Hi, you guys. I'm gonna look at comments when I'm all done. I might jump in and see one every once in a while, but I usually read my comments at the end so that um, you guys can see the project and then we chat when we're all done, okay? So we'll do some chatting when I'm done. Boy, my lighting is terrible. Let me, let me see if I can. I think it's coming in from my door. It's coming, I think it's, yeah. It's just coming in from that window. Hang on, let me. Let me see if, if I close this, if that solves everything. Oh, I'm going to lose everybody. I know. I'm sorry. But I can't have you looking at me glow like that. It's too glowy. That didn't do it. It's got to be coming from those windows then. And I can't, I don't have any curtains on those. So, um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm glowing. <laughs> but we're going to go with it. Oh, I hate that. I just hate it. I can't do anything there. Might be able to do that. Might be a little better. Uh, anyway, here we go, here we go. So we've got the dark on one side, the light on the other, and I really honestly just start jabbing it in there all over the place. We are not painting like this. We are tap tapping, okay? I'm not tap tapping hard. Right now I'm going to go randomly all over the piece. And I didn't do any surprise, like I didn't do it anywhere. Like, oh, here's what it's gonna be like when we're all done. Nope, we're gonna do this together and see what we get. You know, it's one of those I had a vision in my head and um, we're gonna get it. If it looks as good in real life as it did in my head, we're gonna really love this. And she's probably going to be watching me and say, oh, can I have that back? <laughs> and yes, of course you can. Okay, it's as simple as that, you guys. And then, oh, and then you're going to get this really textured, um, I think you can see it pretty well. And then like if you have a spot that's too much, you just tap on it ever so gently so that you don't lose it, but you soften that, oh, my lighting. You soften that just a bit. Okay, so then I didn't go from all gold to all white, I have a little bit more interest popping in and out. It makes it a little pretty uh, along with um, the, the paint. Um, the paint kind of shabbies it up a little bit, but yet the gold keeps it um, interesting and full of depth and um, adds a little design element to it too. And it makes it not so spray painted looking, you know? It, um, yeah, so I could, 
Actually, it would be really fun to take dark wax and rub that in and then wipe it off so that it gets down in the cracks and crevices. And I may do that. If I do, um, we'll see. But I think I'm going to be super happy with it. Oh, I wish you could see. Just like that. I think that's going to really be, really be nice. And you guys, you can do this with lamps. I did it with these chairs, with the, like my chairs that I'm sitting on honestly it's i mean it's the my it painted my chairs that way solid cover though i did not use any of the gray or gray any of the gold but um you can paint anything that way it's super easy and uh, we i do furniture to candlesticks to lamps to picture frames any kind of projects that way um if let's say it's a wood um, a wood background you just tap 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 and you'll have that wood peeking through so it's super easy it's so easy um but so then um so okay <laughs> i always get so excited i feel like i have to hurry so the last thing which has nothing to do with any of what i just showed you but the last thing is i had time when i left her house yesterday um i ran to hobby lobby and instead of being on a mission that i need you know whatever all i need at hobby lobby i had not had no list i just went in to browse right I was there a good hour or more. I didn't really time myself, but I was there quite a while and it was so fun. Have you I have you ever gone to Hobby Lobby just to stroll through? Like honestly, I mean besides the mask part, it was really fun and it, I saw things that I hadn't seen before. Um all of the Christmas is gone at ours unless, you know, sometimes they'll put it back in a corner somewhere in a row that I might have missed. I didn't cover the entire store, but um yeah, all of that was gone. So I looked at the Valentines. I really wanted to see what I could do in my uh, private group. And I found this, of course, it's Tammy Loves Vintage. So I found this really cute. They had three different styles. This was the one that I went for. It was $6.99. But look at this. It was $6.99. And it looks so vintage to me. It looks exactly like the cards that I find when I am um, looking through old, um, I don't know how to say the word, inferior, the old uh, papers, old, old uh, like postcards and greeting cards. And a lot of these places will have vintage papers and you can go through all of that. And so that's, um, that's the look that you get uh, and they had three different, um, three different pictures. I don't, I don't need anything. I just wanted like a splash of Valentine. Um, I'll show you guys around. I did it this morning and added what I had for Valentine's, and I added it around just in my living room area. Just needed a splash, um, but I, uh, I did pick up this, and I'm going to cover this part. I'm, it's fine. It says be my Valentine. It's perfectly fine. You guys, you buy this and don't have to do a thing to it. You just plop it down. Um, I don't think it was on sale. I didn't see any sale, but, um, what I'm going to do to it is to Mod Podge old book pages, old uh, sheets of, um, I don't just want to put book pages. I want to put a little piece of music and a little different fonts of different sorts of papers. So I'm going to be covering it so that it will look a lot like this, but the base of it won't be so heavy. It'll kind of get back to that more vintage color that I like for my home. So I'm going to be adding those pages to this. And so then I thought, wow, wow, I have these out. I think I'm going to add the pages to the top ring of this because like me, she really likes the vintage things. Even though she's formal, um, I will seal it with the Mod Podge coat on top so that it's shiny, so that it will kind of jazz up a little bit. And I think, I really think she'll like it a lot and it'll be like shiny uh, and flat. So this part I'll leave just chalk painted. And then this part I'm going to um, paint with the, or not paint, but add the book pages to it. So um, it'll be a quick little project, I know, but it's one that I'm, I kind of want to do. So I know you're all looking for like, what can I buy? And you know, what, do, what are you buying for whatever, for whatever holidays coming up? So this was one of the things that I got. And then the other things that I got were in my, for in my group, 
um, and I'll be showing you the finished project, the finished products when we're all done. And um, usually I just do still pictures and post them on my page. If you're not following my page, please do. It's called Tammy Loves Vintage and then you can see those pictures. And some of the things you can figure out what we did, it's more for inspiration for you guys. Some of it you may need to jump into the group um, just to get the details or you know you may have a question or whatever um so you can message me about that um the group will be open again in the spring it's 15 dollars a month every all the videos are in there from when i first started in 2019 in february so anyway that's all about that but two more things i want to talk about one of them is will you put in your um comments here um, do me a favor and tell me the pages that you love following. I don't care if you have 15 pages that you follow. Will you share them with all of us? I have been finding um, some new people that I didn't know anything about. And some of the pages are big. And I'm like, where have I been? Like, what? you know, I'm usually just so focused, I guess, on what I'm doing. So um, bomb me with comments of who you like to follow. It not only will help me, because I'll go check them out and follow them, because you guys that follow me know what I like too. So you're not going to lead me astray, like, and have me watch something that I'm not into. Um, but it will give all of us something to watch besides the news. <laughs> So um, that was what I was thinking, and I don't want to miss out on watching anybody. So that is the one thing that I want to request from you. If you would comment here, um, you don't need to private message me. Just comment it right here so everyone can see. But like, do you follow the shabby tree or the um, the royal, what is it, royal funky junk, I think it's called, or the royal funky chicks or something like that. Love her. Her name's Kathy. Um let me see. Uh, I, there's so many. There's so many. I shouldn't even start naming them. Um, I don't. Do you watch Melanie? Uh, yes, Bartholomew. And I don't know how to say her name, but I was thinking of her, Lori. So yes, definitely watch her. She is adorable. She's the sweetest. And I love to listen to her because her voice is so soothing. She is just, I can't get, make my voice do that because my voice is like a foghorn. But, and don't say anything, Randy. <laughs> He's in the background, and I know it. It always has been. It's my voice, and I can't help it. But um, another awesome one to watch is uh, Wilshire Collections and Refabbed and Deco Exchange. Like, I'm trying to think of all of the ones that I, you know, kind of follow. Of course, Shabby Tree. Everybody watches Barb. Um, but, yeah, tell us who you like. Um, Southern Hospitality. I don't re recognize that. Liz and Aaron, I recognize. I'm seeing a few pop up. Thank you guys so much for sharing that because... I think it's fun for all of us and anyone that's like, we're all here and we all want to see this kind of thing all of the time. And the more pages that you're following, the more pop-ups you'll get that something's happening and it distracts us from the television and the news. So, um, so anyway, what else? Oh, there was one more thing. What was it? I wanted to know who you were. Oh, I know what else. In speaking of watching the news, let's just chat about this before I read all of your comments. Um, I am, I am, that's all I'm going to do with, I guess I could keep doing this while I'm chatting, but um, uh, the light's so bad. Let me see if I can turn you a little bit, maybe. Was that gonna do us any good? No. Um, anyway, what I wanted to say is, it's getting scary. It's getting really, uh, really scary. So I keep turning it off and I really haven't been looking much at my Facebook feed because that scares me too. And I, I know I'm not alone. I don't even have to say, do you guys feel the same way? I know you do. We all do, no matter what side of the fence you're on, it's frightening. So what I was thinking is, you know, I'm hearing all of these things from a social media aspect, you know, yes, we're on Parlor, yes, we're on MeWe, yes, I'm on Instagram, um, all of the places I'm doing, everything that I know to do at this point, but I'm worried that we may lose our connection here, and how will you, f I'm going to keep going because I have a house full of stuff and this is my thing to do, and I do it at home alone when I'm just on my own. But I love to stay in contact with everybody. So I'm asking if you, there's a place to message me. If you would message me your email, if you don't mind. Um, all I'm doing at this point is every weekend I send you one 
um, blog post. You don't even have to read it, but I'm just thinking someday, you know, when all the inventory that I've ordered for the website comes in for your home decor, or just to even see what I'm up to, you know, we could at least email and stay in touch that way. So you don't have to put your email here for everyone to see, um, unless you don't care, but, um, message me if you're not already on my email. I have, I have quite a few on my email list, but, um, I'd hate to lose you. I hate to lose you as a friend. Like, I don't know if everyone on here knows me, but a lot of you I know so well. I had a girl message me just a little bit ago about my group and I'm like, wait a minute, you're not in my group yet? Like, I thought you were, like, I just feel like I know you all. I recognize your names. I think of the things that you've bought from me and the conversations that we've had and you're all very special. And I just would hate to think that I would lose you. This is coming from my husband saying he heard something on the um, on the news about social media and they're shutting things down or whatever. I don't know, but I hate to lose track of you all. So if you want to stay in touch, because I will still be firing out emails as long as I can, not very often. I'm not going to blow you up, and you can get out if you if you're like you know what, I'm over this girl, I don't wanna send anymore. You can get out, you can opt out super easy at the very bottom, you just click on subscribe and you're out. So, um, but if you wanna stay in touch, or I guess how are you gonna reach me if it's over? And so many of you have painting questions or crafting questions, or I've inspired you to make something and you wanna show me what you did, or you have a question about it, just pretend it goes black here and, and we're not here, um, how will you get a hold of me? So that's what I'm, that's, that is what I'm after is for not only me to reach you, but in case you need to reach me as well, maybe, maybe we won't have messenger and we'll have a new way and we'll have to rediscover each other again. And who knows how long that will take. So I'm just thinking ahead, um, as a painter of homes, I paint homes. I've done it for 20, I think 27 years now. Um, normally we have about six gals that paint with me. Um, we go full time at it and um, you know, my job as the job getter and kind of the foreman of the crew is to foresee um, things that might go wrong. And so <laughs> I guess after doing that for so many years, I kind of uh, apply that to life situations, even with my kids, you know, they're like, hey, you know, Abby, uh, we're going to Mexico. We're going to go to Tulum. She's going to Tulum here soon. And of course, all of the mom, think of yourself as, as the mom kicks in, right? And you're like, wait a minute, you know, my 25 year old daughter is flying off to Tulum outside of the country right now in this world. Like, don't go, right? And all of the things that a mother would say, you know, to their child. Well, so that's, that's where all of this is coming from is just foreseeing and trying to um, not look back and regret not asking you if you would like in on our uh, little blog posts, um, or if you just wanna stay in touch for new products or whatever, we really, good grief, I went probably four years without even sending one email. Um, and then uh, I have a gal helping me, I put everything together and then she makes it look professional because <laughs> I don't know how to do that part. You know, everyone does their thing they're good at. You know, like grandma can make the best chocolate chip cookies and every time I make them, they go flat and are crispy and grandma can make them like stay thick and chewy. Like I, and I have the same recipe. I'm doing the same thing, but she's got that magic touch. That's what I'm talking about. So anyway, all right. So, so I asked for your email. Um, if you would just message me, you don't have to, you can message me and ask me for mine and then I can give it to you so that if you ever have a question, you don't necessarily have to get mail from me, but let's try and find an outside way of staying in touch, um, just in case. And, uh, and besides that, you may miss, you may miss something that we're doing and I'll send a blog post or we're pulling up some old projects too that we've done a long, long time ago that, um, the, uh, um, Melissa, I couldn't think of her name. Melissa is finding and she's like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I want to share this. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, so the, we're digging up old things. Um, you can find us on YouTube. Um, you guys can just find us any, all of the, all of the places under Tammy Loves Vintage is where we are, um, on all of the social media platforms that I know of, but I mostly use Facebook first. 
Instagram second, and everything I do on Facebook has gone to YouTube. So if you're looking for any specific thing, like, oh, I remember when you made those drop cloth curtains. I think I wanna do that in my uh, living room. You can go to YouTube and in the search bar on my page, Tammy Loves Vintage, type in drop cloth curtains and the video will come up for you. So um, it saves you from scrolling through all of our videos because I think there, well, there's several hundred videos in there from me. So I don't, I don't have all of the fancy wording for the thumbnails and all of the bright colors and all of the things. It's just these videos from here go over. But, um, oh, this is looking so good. I wish you could see my, I don't know why it's doing that. This, oh, hey, what did I just do? Because you could see it. What did I just do? I was in a position. Oh, it's still there, there, there. So you're seeing my water bottle and my junk, but um, you're getting a better, see how it aged it? It almost made it look like stone, like really old, but yet you can still see like there and there, like the little hints of the gold metallic still coming through. Honestly, for anyone that joined late, let me show you. I'm dipping my cheesecake, country chic cheesecake, which I have available, just message me, and white called Simplicity with chalk-based paint. I'm using a disposable, uh, which I don't dispose of them. Why would you? Because you want them all, see how frayed out and tattered? I don't want a brand new tight bristled brush. You will not get the same look if you paint your living, with a, living room with a nice brush and you wash it out and then you go get that brush to do this sort of thing you do not want to be pounding your bristles like this that is not how you treat a paintbrush so these kinds of brushes that's what you do with these kinds of brushes so anyway i i'm i'm gonna go through here and make sure that i've jabbed everywhere that i really want to be sure to cover but um yeah but <laughs> That's gonna be a process, right? I'm gonna see all kinds of spots. And then as soon as it's dry, I'll be able to hold on. This is how it started, this gold shiny, which is actually really beautiful. Maybe I, first, I, eh, I don't know. Maybe I should leave the pot like that. Maybe just do this to tie it all together um, around the bottom. It's the same look. I'm doing the exact same thing, see that? I'm doing the exact same thing, you guys. It's such an easy, so when you're thrift shopping, we don't have thrift stores here. Um, the nearest thrift store that I know about is an hour away. Um, so I can't, so we don't get to thrift here. Um, but if you have, if you're lucky enough to have thrift stores, um, I wanna just double check that I didn't go over the edge, and I, I really didn't, just that one little spot. Um, Oh, my lighting. Oh, I hate this time of day. So yeah, so I either put them off, put these videos off and wait till the evening or um, or I just fight the light <laughs> or because I'm in the dark. I, this room is dark. I mean, my chandelier here is not on. See, it is not on. I do have the little light behind me, but it's covered in wax. That's not doing anything back there. But um, anyway, I don't even know what I was saying, but let's look at comments. <laughs> look at comments so if you're still here if you would add your um, um thanks for the hearts if you would add your uh pages that you like to follow just for all of us here just for all of us fun good girlfriends to stick together let's um let's share who we like to follow um you don't necessarily even have to do a a um, link like to their page and you don't even need to do that if we take a tablet if you're watching and you're like oh i want to watch all these people just jot them all down and type them in in your spare time that's fine you guys don't have to go to, i'm not asking you to do a lot of trouble i'm asking you to do this for me but i'm thinking if i want to know then i'm thinking uh some of you others some of you girls might want to know as well Okay, so, and then yes, your email. Um, thanks, Karen. If you wanna send me your email, you can private message or you can put it here. Um, I can't promise that there might not be another maker like me watching that might not write it down. You might get an email from a couple of others just for sharing, but um, I think anyone watching is gonna be good. So I don't think you're gonna mind getting emails from all of us. So anyway, oh, and now I'm gonna pray that the, um, that the, uh, 
uh, thumbnail picture taker from Facebook doesn't snap me in these stupid glasses, but I, I'm gonna try to read without, but I can't see. So, okay, so let me get my, <laughs> let me get my eyes straight. So I'm all done with what I'm doing. Um, I've, I've shown you the pots that I did earlier with that same look. They were just terracotta, painted them gold, and then did the paint to them. I did the same thing with this topiary, um, just made the bottom. I, I wanna study it a little bit. I may try and just do this area. Um, We'll see. I I may like that little bit of gold on there. I don't know that I want the whole thing white. I I kind of think that that's nice. It was a lot of gold, and now it's like the pot and the base matches. So I really like that. So we did that, and I also just for anybody late, I just picked this up at Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love how vintage it is. I really try to make my Valentine's not all super bright colors. I really want that vintage look. I did not touch this, you guys. I bought it like this. It says "Be My Valentine" on the bottom, and the only thing I'm going, I, I always alter everything I get. Like obviously, right? Everything. Okay. Everything I get for the most part has a Tammy touch to it, right? And so this, the only thing I'm going to do is Mod Podge a bunch of book pages to it. And I'm going to do the same, I believe, on the edges of this pot. I need to ask um, the lady that owns the pot, that they're hers that we just decorated for. They were just terracotta and it was on her form. Like this. This is like the look of her formal. And then you had these terracotta pots. And I told her, that is still, that is really bugging me, which I, I, on the one hand, I wanted to zip it and not say anything because she was happy, but, and I was, by saying, I don't like it, I knew she was going to say, can you fix them? <laughs> Which meant work for me. Um, and I, you know, like who has time, right? But I can't help it. If I don't like it, I don't like it. And I got to, I got to be honest. So anyway, that was the one thing I said, the only thing to make this absolutely perfect room. I could not find a flaw anywhere was to, do that to those pots. So anyway, bless her heart for trusting me. She's like, take them, do it. And uh, and then I was thinking, well, I could do a blog post or a video about it. So it really worked out fine that I get to share it with you guys. Um, but when I go to do the Mod Podge, I might jump on here. It'll just be a little quickie video. I always feel like I have to be on here for so long. Instagram, you're in and out, like 15 seconds uh, to like three minutes. And I love stories over there because it's so fast. But, um, yeah, I don't know. But then I like over here where I can sit and chat too. So that's all I have. But let me read. I'll read the comments. If you guys have a question, post it now. And I'm going to look through and um, say hello to, like, Vicki, who says hi to me. Hey, Vicki. And there's Terry Reno from Florida. Hi, hi, Terry. Thanks for saying hi, you guys. That just makes me happy. I, you know, when I'm talking, I'm seeing the comments scrolling, but I, I just, I get distracted when I stop and read. There's Margaret saying ho hello to everybody. How sweet, Margaret. We are like all friends on here watching at the same time. I love when you guys talk to each other. That's awesome. And you answer each other's questions sometimes. I just love that. Um, let's see, building community, that's what we're doing. Um, there's Melinda from West Virginia. So glad you caught me live, Melinda. Uh, let's see, anybody else saying it? Um, topiary distressed with a little white. Uh, Melinda, I added white and cheesecake. It's two colors, here they are. Um, I just use a meat tray when I do, but there's the two colors. Um, very close to each other. You don't want them so close that when you mix them together, they turn one color. So there's a double, there's there's not only the action of the paint, but there's the action, whoops, I see a little bit of a drip right here. There's the action of two colors. And I know my lighting is terrible this time of day, so I'm probably, probably not able to show you that, but, um, but it's there, especially if you're doing like a tabletop or, you know, something smooth, you really want the action of the two colors, so. Well, gosh, Marilyn, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, hi, Karen. Hi, hi, friend. Oh, this is so, I always love this part. Love the end and chatting, Melinda. I do too. I love this part. I just said that. Uh, yes, it is a bright, sunny day. I, yeah, and here I am complaining about it, right? I'm complaining about the glare. Um, let's see here. Who else do we have? Randy is back and forth. He's trying to install. Our daughter um, got us a, a ring. Uh, what is it? A ring 
like we have the outside ring, but it's like a home security system of all things. Good grief. Like you girls, they're spending money like they're bazillionaires. But so he's now trying to figure out how to install it. Um, so yeah, that's fun. Uh, hi, Tanya. Poor guy. So let's all give Randy a big hi and a applaud for his, he's happened to put in outlets from switches and he's like, oh my gosh, I don't know. Uh, right, Randy? Yes, quit buying me presents. <laughs> he's, two days to hook him up. he's quit buying him presents that takes him two days to hook up. Because <laughs> they got us the ring light outside <laughs> last year. Uh, do you have a store? Krista, I used to have a store. We closed it in March of this year, uh, but I moved everything online for the most part. It's all of our crafting. It's all authentic vintage um, and antiques. Um, and it's things that you can make things with and a ton of greenery that I use to decorate homes. Um, and I'm like, I always say a greenery snob. I know that might not be the best term, but it's the one that just keeps popping out of my mouth, but I'm kind of fussy about our greens. So um, very particular about the greenery I use. So I share that all with you guys there at my website and it's everything is just by the name Tammy Loves Vintage. So you can type in TammyLovesVintage.com to find my email. You can type in Tammy Loves Vintage on YouTube. You can type in Tammy Loves Vintage on Google and Google all about us. You could just Tammy Loves Vintage. Just remember that and you'll find me, whether you're on Instagram or wherever. The trick is to type in T-A-M-I. My mom made the name short and sweet so that in kindergarten I'd be able to learn how to spell it easier. <laughs> So she she kind of regretted it as time went on because all of the like the little license plates for your bicycle always said T A M M Y. She couldn't find anything that said T A M I, but um, I like it short and sweet, right? And then my last name's Neff, so Tammy Neff. That's like two short ones, so that's pretty easy. I see sometimes you girls' names that's a million miles long, and I think oh, except when there's a Y. Ys are so pretty. Um, anyway, I see I'm off again. So hey Tina. Uh, we'll have to start picking up gold stuff that I don't... Yes, yes, dig out those old candlesticks and those old lamps and, and uh, have at it for sure. Uh, Sally misses doing that. Yeah, you know, I get away from this crafting stuff and I do too. That's how I've been with the chocolate tour that I do. I'm kind of missing all the chocolate tour stuff. And uh, my friend Beth, who's helping me right now, she... Uh, had never heard of it, never done it. So we've been playing with Chaco Tour. So get ready, we're gonna get we're gonna get hyped up with the Chaco Tour. And that is, uh, I have a group on Facebook called uh, Tammy Loves Chalk. So <laughs> jump over there and join me in Tammy Loves Chalk because we're gonna be chalking. I'm gonna sell some finished um, chalking uh, things that we've made, and uh, we're really trying to put a vintage twist on the new things that we're making. So um, kind of excited, trying to. Um, revive something that I've kind of um, let go, kind of let it lay a little bit. And I and I see it all the time. I see all the girls on my team doing great things and I, I just haven't had time to pick it up, but I'm really getting the itch to do it. Um, so you almost picked that up, but I'm going to make my own. Yes, with old Valentines. Oh, Tina, I love that even more. I love that even more. I just hadn't bought anything like that and I thought this was easy and I'm going to change the base of it and it's already standing and all the things. I was really um, careful and really trying to edit the things that I put in my cart because I have so much and I've been working so hard to get rid of things and then here I am out shopping for more, but I was really shopping for my group so that I could get um, things for projects for them in there. Um, yes, the shabby tree. Okay, now I'm starting to get all of the comments here. Uh, I have my own group, over 4,500 ladies. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome, Denny. Um, um, thanks for sharing that for these girls to get in. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. What am I thinking? Thank you guys for sharing all of these pages. This is wonderful. I'm going to write them all down and go through and make sure if I'm following them or not. A lot of these I'm recognizing and I'm just scrolling through. Oh yeah, there's Rooster Restore. Um, a lot of them I'm recognizing. Adorable door decor. I don't know that I know that one. The hundredth monkey. I've never heard of that one, Karen. See, this is why I want to do it. Rethink fabulous. I've never heard of that. What a cute name. Our green acres. I think I followed that one, Sandy. There's so many, and I don't uh, spend a lot of time um, 
I don't spend a lot of time doing um, like watching things. I'm always trying to do my own, stay in my own lane, but at the same time, it's nice to be inspired too. Um, so, and like I said, especially right now, I don't wanna be watching the news. So keep myself busy. Even if my husband has the news on, my mind can be focused. I can have the volume down or have my uh, air pot, my po uh, Apple, whatever in my ear. So <laughs> I can just zone out of all of that. I know it doesn't make it go away, but uh, whatever comes down the pike, we all have to deal with it when it gets here. I just don't need the, what if this, what if that, you know, it's all too much. It's all just a lot. So you don't know anyway. You don't know who to believe, what to believe. So I just like watching crafting <laughs> more now than ever. Thank you, Lori, for listing these. That's awesome. There's Vicki. I tend to watch creators that don't craft with Dollar Tree items all the time. I know. I, you know what? I honestly went to Dollar Tree for the first time in months yesterday. And I did pick up something. What did I pick up? Oh, I picked up some heart shaped, some bigger heart shaped signs just for the form to flip them over and use the hearts. Um, ah, yeah, I'm not much into Dollar Tree, but I'm all about antiques and stuff like that here. Um, so yeah, you won't find Dollar Tree much here, I promise. Um, Sandy agrees. Let's see, there's another one, DIY, DIY Dreaming. One of you guys told me about that one before. And I do appreciate when you guys private message me, you know, your pictures and all of that. And I think someone sent me her before. I watch Crazy Lamp Lady on YouTube and Curiosity Incorporated. Well, very good. Okay, I'll have to check those out when I'm over on, on YouTube editing my video thumbnails. It, they let me fix them over there. Uh, I would hate to not be able to watch or create. I know, Norma, I know. And not to, not to frighten you at all, friend. I just, I'm just thinking ahead. Like I said, I'm trying to um, think I have all of these friends on here and I would miss all of you and how can we stay in touch? And that's the only way I can think of. And they're probably going to start saying we won't have email. So I don't know. I don't know. None of us know. But I thought that might be an easy way. Yesterday's tomorrow. I love that name. I haven't seen that. Let's see. Who, what's Julie saying? Julie's giving me shabby tree crafty. Oh, goodness. She's got all kinds. Yay, thank you. And, of course, oh, thank you, Julie. She added Tammy Loves Vintage. I'm tapping on the Seymour. Oh, there we go. Wasn't letting me open when you're not on. Oh, thank you. Where do you put my email? Um, just message me. I think there's a place where you can private message me. Um, if you wouldn't mind, or in Messenger, it's Tammy Neff, T-A-M-I-N-E-F-F. -F. You can message me that way. Um, I'd love to have it and love to put you on our list. Mustard Tree Market, not heard of that one. Yay! You know, another nice one that I've not seen yet is uh, Faux Your Eyes Only. She's really good. Renee, F-A-U-X. Um, let's see, Sisters Floral and Gift. I've not heard of that one. I love this, you guys. Hi, Tina. Oh, thank you, Tina. She loves it. Good, good, good. She must love what I was painting. Yes, it looks like a plaster finish, like a cracked plaster finish. Yes, absolutely. You love the brush look with the gold coming through. Yes, me too, Tanya. It's such an easy look to get, and it looks like super fancy. And, and as it dries, like as the shine goes away, it even takes on that more stone sort of look. So it looks like it's even really heavy, and it's, it's just paint easy um we'll be looking for gold things too yes tina uh roost and restore yep i follow that one looks beautiful thing it does look that's what i just said norma we're we're on the same wavelength uh oh thank you tina oh my gosh thank you for the hearts i saw them come by thank you so that's so sweet please check out amanda made i've not heard of that and leslie my hand oh yes i do follow leslie um it wasn't you, Sandy, but somebody, I think it was Patricia sent me to her, and I absolutely love her. Although, the one thing about her that I'm not so crazy for is all of the emails that I get. But I must have, I was really liking her, and I was, I click yes, you know, and I get like three or four emails a day from her. So, you know what's happening instead of her keeping my curiosity. Oh, what did she send me now? There's so many that I'm probably going to opt out, honestly because I'm not opening any of them. I don't, maybe you haven't signed up for emails, but that's my only thing. I love, love her home and I love her taste, but, um, and I saw some crafts that she did were really great, but those emails are just, I'm not doing that to you guys. Number one, I don't have time. Number two, I'm not, I have one lady that helps me out 
internet wise with my blog and so she does email but she doesn't send you know she charges me so i can't afford to do a bunch of emails all the time and i yeah no you're not going to get that from me i promise one a week at the most and that's as long as i can keep having her help me um thanks tina she said that was beautiful there's an email hey becky hi thanks for saying hi girlfriend thank you loving the topiary share shayla likes the topiary awesome awesome and now listen to if by chance i saw one email come through and i thought i already had hers um if you get like three or four emails from me and they're all the same because i get that from uh, jennifer allwood and melanie ferguson i get like three times i think even the um the little bluebird gallery i think i get several you can opt out of like if you get three in a row from me it's because I've gotten your email from an order you've placed with me or you gave it to me here again. So you may get to, I, I switched, there's an email, there's a company called Constant Contact and it's like a file keeper of emails. And so you just push a bit, like I wanna send it, they call it an email blast and you can send an email blast to everybody or I can just send it to certain people that you group and all that, which I don't do. I just, you're just all in there on a list. But I, it does not, what's I want to say unduplicate or deduplicate if it if I enter the same lady in five times she'll get five emails like I hate that about it and there's so many and they're not in any order like alphabetical order or anything it's just like a file keeper so I don't know that I already have you in there so if you get you know several from me don't leave me just get out of the extras <laughs> and um, I need to maybe I've never had anybody complain about it but I know there's a couple of larger Lar much larger than mine pages that I watch that I get several emails that are all the same. Um, that's not the case with the one I was just talking about, the 100 year place. She sends like <laughs> so many. So Silver Farmhouse, I've not heard of this. You guys are awesome. I love finding all of these people that I don't know anything about. I love that. You could antique the pot to tone down the gold. Yes, you mean, you mean like dark wax over it that's a good idea lori yes i could age it a little bit and get rid of that glow but it does match the glow at her home um, her other items are very brassy so i'll see if she wants it back and if she doesn't i may do that i don't know i kind of, in person i kind of like it. it looked a little screamy i know when i held it up there in per you know to you guys it looks like woo reflective but honestly, like in real life, I can't find a good light to show you. But it's really, it's really not as strong as that's appearing in there, I promise. Um, but that's a great idea. I could just antique wax right over that gold. That's a good idea. Um, I used to do that to terracotta pots except put burlap ribbon around the top. Very nice. Very nice, Glennis. Very nice. Um, no, I wish, no, oh, there she is. She wants the topiary back. I knew it. I knew it. All right. I'll bring it back when I, um, deliver these other pots. I'm teasing. Of course you can have it back. Uh, where do you get your old music pages? Um, I have them, Becky. I have collected them for years and years. Message me, private message me what you're looking for and I can put you together a bundle. Okay. I do that for people all the time. People message me all the time for the things that I craft with. Yes, Karen, it is Shayla's. That's so funny. See, see, you know her style. <laughs> hey, Melanie. Hi. Patricia, yes, Patricia, I've been so busy. We've been so busy painting. I've been taking down Christmas decorations and I've been doing a winter de decor for um, a few different ladies here locally. I have one more next week and then all my decorating locally for others is over with. Um, so, okay, thrift shops have them, but you have to go off and yes, things get sold really quickly. That's how our goodwill is. Our goodwill is not great. You know, we don't live in like a, like a, a wealthy area or a retirement area so um, there's not a lot at our goodwill compared to some um, Terry Reno says she may still have some somewhat not sure Terry I'm sorry about the light on my glasses that's so annoying but I don't I can't whoa it goes to instant blur uh, let me see if I can read it without Patricia Clayton that's like my daughter, Nikki, she says. We must have been talking about something. You girls are seeing these comments, I know. 
Uh, let's see here. Do you need me, Randy? No. No? Okay. The name Niche. Patricia Clayton, the name Niche. Or no, oh, it says Nikki. I thought you were talking about a niche. I'm thinking, when was I talking about like a cubby? Nikki, Nichi. I don't know what she said. I'm, I must have said something wrong. Hey, there's Carol Goff. Hi, Carol. She's my boss. <laughs> she, I sell real estate on the side, and she, uh, I sell through her company. How oh, nice of her to say hello. Uh, you will like Rethink Fabulous. Nice. I love that. Thank you for sharing these. This is so fun, you guys. I feel like this little talk time at the, ooh, that's a good, I could call it, let's have talk time. Hmm, if I had a pen, I would write that down. I like that. Tammy's talk time. Ooh, even better. We could have Tammy's talk time at the end of every video, which we do anyway, but I don't call it anything. I just start rambling. Uh, I am, I am tired also with the Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree. Yes, it's like everybody wants to make something for a dollar. And, you know, sometimes, if you have a treasure, it it might be free. Like from me, the things you're getting from me, I send you to the garage, I send you digging through grandpa's toolboxes. Like, you know, we're not always, you know, using these re, uh, reproduction sort of things. We're using 99%, we're using the real thing. And you guys just have to dig out those, but oh. Thank you, Brandy. She sent me 50 stars. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Thank you. Wow, that's like the highest high high. I'm trying to tap on the see more. Here we go. Here we go. What is Vicky saying? I love the way you go through the messages after your project. Thank you. Saying hello to 40 people. <laughs> yes, it is distracting. I think it's distracting for you guys. And I think sometimes, um, like I've heard on Barb's, uh, the shabby tree, they'll say, you never say hi to me, you know, and all of that. And so I, I never want to miss anybody. I picked that up from, you know, we always watch the people that are more than we are, that are bigger than we are to aspire to maybe do something like that someday and grow and um, see what they're doing right and see what they're doing wrong and all the things. But in me watching all of these videos like that, sometimes I just fast forward through um, so that I can see what did they make and then I go back and find what I don't know and then there's other ones like if I'm doing the dishes or if I'm driving or um, whatever if I'm getting dressed in the morning and brushing my teeth and doing my makeup I'll listen through the whole thing to chats like this and I love it so um, yeah it just if you have time you know that they're at the end of uh, pretty much every video I have we've chatted and sometimes some of the best information from me comes at the end because sometimes we'll be talking about painting this topiary and we end up like up in the bedroom looking at my sock drawer or something that has nothing to do with anything right that's it's just how it works in talking but yeah I never want to miss anyone that takes a minute in the effort to say hello to me I want to say hello back um I'll love Amanda made good I love that name I love that name so cute Katie at Junk to Jewels. Okay, I will check her out too. Yes, my 100-year-old. Yes, Patricia, you're the one that sent me to her. Yes, I love that, except I get way too many emails from her. Uh, but that doesn't mean I'll quit watching her online. I just think I'll chop off the email getting. I hate getting too many emails. So when I'm asking you all for your email address, honestly, I will just send you one email on the weekends and you can delete it if you want it's it's videos that you can find on here or on YouTube but it might be something that you've forgotten about um, or something you haven't seen yet uh, DIY with Donna's creations not heard of that one I love all of these new ones you girls are fantastic hi Patricia let's see Terry I was talking about that music and old books that you may have yes I have tons of music and tons of old books to, I have all of the paper you need. Uh, emphoria, I don't know how to say the word, but it looks like em, emphoria is what it looks like, but I'm not sure it might be, who knows how you say it, but it, if you're gonna spell it out and I was going to type it to you, I would in my mind think emphoria and it should correct, auto-correct itself to whatever it is. I should know that, honestly I don't. 
and I'm not ashamed to tell you because I don't. <laughs> Just the perfect piece. Oh, I love her. That's another one. I love to listen to her talk with her accent. Um, Agnes, yeah, I love her. Nisha, like your name. Okay, Patricia, gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, maybe what she means. I'm still not a hundred. I say I gotcha, but I'm not sure. I think what I thought instantly was that you meant like your name kind of says what your niche is by using your name. I'm probably way, uh, <laughs> way out on that. Uh, weathered wings. I have heard of that one, Terry. Uh, yes, I've heard of that one. Oh, thank you, Vani. I may have yours already. Anyone that's ordered from me before, I have your, I have yours for sure. Um, and you know, honestly, I had one lady just a couple of weeks ago. Oh, there, someone's telling me how to say it. And, oh, let me look. Ephemera, ephemera, you're right. That sounds more like it, ephemera. Yes, you're right, that's how you say it. It's kind of a new word for me, obviously. <laughs> so, okay, you guys. Oh, that's your daughter's name. <laughs> oh, I'm like trying to figure out, I'm thinking of all these ways to figure out what you're saying. Gotcha, Patricia, okay, gotcha. All right, you guys, that's all that I have. Nothing else really to chat about. I'm not gonna do any home tours today. You guys just saw a lot of it uh, day before yesterday. I don't think I was on yesterday, but the day before I was on a lot. So I'm gonna go, I need to finish this. Um, well, I think I am finished. I'm gonna make sure I don't have any spots I've been happy with and then clean up this paint. And then I think I'm gonna drag out my papers and do some Mod Podging on these and then, um, I will style them a little bit and show you a picture. I'll just post a picture. You guys don't need to watch me Mod Podge. You know how to do that, right? Yeah, everybody Mod Podges. So we, <laughs> do you have a fee for your book pages? I usually just do a stack, yes. Um, just because I've had to pay for them to get them all. So yes, I'll just do you know a stack and like you might say, give me, five dollars worth most people get about twenty twenty five dollars worth and they say you know like I'll say do you want just music or do you want old books or do you want just kind of a mix if you get a mix I've got old tickets and all kinds of old pages I think the most um I oh well usually people get the most I've sold of like somebody saying can you send me like the old jewelry and the old lace, the handmade lace, all of the stuff is like $125 is the most I think anyone's ever requested. And I've had several at that price point. But, um, you know, if you go too low, I can't give you a whole lot of awesomeness, but it's a lot cheaper. I can tell you, you'll get a lot bigger stack from me than you will on Etsy because they charge like by the sheet. <laughs> I don't do that. I just get you a nice, you know, a nice stack. So it just depends how much you spend, what all I find for you. So anyway, you can say, I just want old books. What I look at is when, well, I have my tub here. Um, I'll, I'll come live with it again and show you. And if you don't want to wait for that or you're afraid you miss it, just message me. But um, I like to look at the different fonts on the papers. So um, I'm going, you know what? I'll come back on. I'm gonna I'm gonna have all of that stuff over here. Let me clean up my paint, clean out my brushes. Hey, Marianne, hi, hi. I'm just getting ready to leave, so I've been on for quite a while chatting about this. I had this really bright gold topiary, and I painted it. See, there's still a lot of gold showing that I don't really want, but I took two colors. It's not really, my lighting is terrible this time of day. Maybe right here you can see the white and the dark. I used two colors like this, very similar, but yet far enough apart that I sort of get that overall third color when the two stir together. I mix the dark and the light on the same brush at the same time. I tap it off just so it's not too drippy, and then I just start jabbing at the piece until I get it where I want it. So I want to take a minute, you guys, I'm gonna take a minute and finish this up and get all of the spots that I, you know, really want to concentrate on. And then I'll, I'll clean this up and then I'll come back. I'm going to set up for the Mod Podge stuff. I'm just, it's going to be really quick. 
Ha ha, quick from me, right? It'll be quick. It'll, the, the first part will be quick when we do it. And then when we start chatting, that's what drags out. So you can, you can see what I'm doing and then jump off when I tell you we're all done. And then we're gonna start, what did I say? Talking, not talking with Tammy. What did I start? Time to talk. <laughs> forget what I said. I'll have to rewatch it. That was a good one though. Um, Nikki for Nikki. Is that what you're trying? I'm sorry, Patricia. I still, Nikki is your daughter's name. Are you saying Nichi or Nikki? I don't know what you're trying to get me to say. Um, or is it just the spelling? Maybe you, instead of spelling it Nikki, N-I-C-K-Y, you're spelling it N-I-C-H-I. Is that what you're telling me? I'm not sure what your, it's beautiful either way, um, but I'm not sure what you're, I'm just not sure what you're saying. So let me clean this up. Let me finish this up. Talk, talk time with Tammy. There you go. Okay. I'm going to say a variation of that every time, just like I do walk my website Wednesday. There's Patricia again. Yes. Okay, good. I got it. Okay. I do walk my website Wednesday or walk with me Wednesday. I don't know. I show you things that are on my website kind of in person here on Wednesdays, or I try. This week I missed Wednesday and had to do it on Thursday, but we just pretended it was Wednesday. So um, sprinkled. Oh my gosh, Marla. Thank you. I've gotten hearts on this video. I've gotten a stars and I got a sprinkle. Thank you. Thank you, friend. That's so sweet of you. Thank you so much. So I'm going to go. I'm going to clean this up and I don't mean to cut that off. I truly thank you. Um, uh, I'm going to clean this up. Anybody that jumped in late, I was asking for emails from you guys so that no matter what the state of this world is, as long as we can still email each other, if by chance we aren't be able to be on here together, we can still sort of communicate with each other. You can still show me pictures of your projects. I can still send you videos that, you know, I've taken on the camera to show you what I'm doing to inspire you. Um, we're doing uh, once a week right now is all you get. I, I went, like I said earlier, I went for years without a, sending one email. I have a nice list. I'm not asking you this because I really, you know, they always say, grow your list, grow your list. I got plenty on my list. It's not that, it's really more for you to stay with me in case we lose each other here. So it's really more that. But also then that way you'll have my email as well and you can email me with all of your painting questions or you know you found I get this a lot I found this in my mom's stash what would you do with it or I bought this at an auction I thought of you when I saw it but now I'm home and I don't know what to do with it so all of that you know we I just don't want to lose that with you guys with the way the world is crazy hopefully everything's fine nothing will ever change everything will be fine and we'll still be able to do this together but I'm just saying you know it's just so odd right now it's just odd and um so I'm trying to think down the road what's the worst worst that I might lose you and I don't want to lose you I want to stay friends. So I'm not going to blow up your email, I promise. And then the other thing that I asked for anyone that joined late is that, that you would message your people that you love to follow. I love to find new people to follow and so do my followers. Every We all like, you know, new places to go and new people to watch. And um, I hope that you still watch me, but um, we also want to find other people. We're all showing different things. So it's fun. It's really fun. Um, and to find the people that you really uh, click with and you really have the same taste is super awesome. So anyway, I'm going to go and uh, I'll be right back here in just a little bit and we'll do that little bit of Mod Podging and we'll talk again. So have a good, always oh, hate to see that when somebody jumps on. I'm seeing people are still coming on. I'm so sorry. I'm going to go. We've been painting. Here you go. We, we took a really, this whole thing was this gold and I showed you how to do this and let the gold peek through. I did the same on some flower pots that I was showing you. They were just this terracotta ugly and I made them real pretty. And so I'm going to come back and do a little Mod Podge. Mod Podge. I hate when that, you know, I always said Mod Podge because Mod Podge, I thought that's what it was. And then, I don't know, probably two years ago, somebody said they say it right. And I'm like, I thought I, thought I was. <laughs> and it's Mod Podge. And I'll tell you what, you look at the jar, it is Mod Podge. Very hard to say. <laughs> so anyway, I try to say it the right way now that I know. 
You'll watch the replay. Good, good. Thank you. Thank you. It went too fast there. It's Amy. Thank you. Oh, hi, Amy. Thank you. That'd be great. And then the other thing was that I found this like authentic looking uh, Valentine that'll go great in my decor. And I found it at Hobby Lobby. Uh, it was $6.99. I don't think it was on sale. I just got it yesterday. So I'm not sure. I don't think it was on sale, but it was worth it to me. I loved it. And then I'm going to Mod Podge over this Be My Valentine. I know it's backwards, but it's going away anyway. And I want it to look more like that. So that's the only thing I'm going to do to alter this, but um, it'll match better in my decor. Even though I have a lot of black, I just don't want, I just don't want that. All right, guys, I'm going this time now for real. <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit. Bye-bye.